Since I was baptized February 2, my godmother thought that it would be a nice thing to imitate what Mary and Joseph did with the firstborn. They brought me to the main altar, you know, and offered me there at the main altar. And so, you know, my mom would always tell me, I, I know that you'll be a priest. At that time, when I was trying to do some adventure in life, I said, I no longer want to be in a Catholic uh, institution. And I want to try out something different. I thought I would best pursue a course on AB journalism. After that, you know, I, I got sick. That illness became an opportunity for me to, to think, to think whether I, I was doing the right thing, not only for myself, but the right thing according to God's plan. So I entered the Society of St. Paul, and, uh, but I was not convinced, you know, that this is where the Lord was putting me in. So I was challenging the Lord, you know, saying, uh, I won't study. You want me to be a priest? Then show me a sign. Let me pass without studying. I would be surprised because uh, I would manage to pass all the exams uh, with good grades. No? Yes, I must admit, uh, Alberione is not the typical picture of a saint who does miracles here and there. Alberione did not find his vocation path right away. His life was more drawn to editing the Gazette of the Diocese, and he began to see that it was a challenging uh, way of spreading the Gospel. From here, he seems to see that the hand of God was moving him ever closer to what is really going to be the focal point of his priestly vocation to reach the Lord, but this time using uh, all these new means of uh, communication. That way of being able to find his place in God's plan, I, I find that very meaningful because that was also my own way. You know, Blessed Alberione has always said that if the Lord would call you to a certain mission, He would also empower you. Yes, that was his experience. He never studied media. Uh, he just believed in the power and the potential of media for evangelization. They say, it's no longer media as technology, but it is media as a culture, a way of life. Alberione had it ahead of his time. And he says, the world is the parish, where the bonding of faith would happen with communications. We have to see that what we do in evangelization it's not just giving the good news to individuals, but forming individuals into communities of faith. And this is the parish.